Hi everyone. Welcome to Cosmic Turtles. My name is Tina. I'm not sure if I'm going to publish this one or not. If I do, you'll see it. If I don't, you won't. <laughs> I'm using the uh, Night Sun Tarot and also the smaller, the miniature Witch's Tarot. Um, if I had other types of cards, maybe it would come out more precisely, but this will be half channeled and, um, with the cards as well. It's the darker aspect of the collective at the moment. And these are timeless and, um. I got the sage going and everything. There's no background music. It's just in total silence and see what comes up. I use the witch's tower here as the clarifier deck. So this will be right here. And I'm going to use the night sun tower. The imagery is what I'll be looking at as well because it depicts differently than usual tarot. So what is the deeper aspect of the collective? Okay. And it's a five card reading because five cards, five is the number of catalyst. catalyst energies, the energies that promote change. So this is more like the shadow aspect, also things that need to be healed. In the middle of the read of the four five cards, we have the uh, star card. So it's very challenging at the moment with everything that people are going through. Let's see what comes up. And we're looking at these cards with the deeper, darker aspect, the denser da aspect, the shadow side. So what else is there for the collective? About the deeper, darker aspect it needs to be looked at and healed. We have the Three of Cups that came out first. Okay. We have the Three of Cups that came out first. So a lot of uh, overindulgence into pleasures. Um, making other people fill your cup. Making them responsible for your happiness instead of you connecting with the divine and seeking the divine to uh, bring you to your happiness. Of course, in here you see little cherubs. But you see one, his cup's being filled, but the other two. So on the positive aspect, this is like allowing the universe to fill your cup so that you may grow. So it's a very positive card, actually, out of all of them. So it's like the light that holds everything together. Even though, you know how they say, uh, even in the dark, there's stars in the sky. So there's still a little bit of light throughout these darker, denser energies going through. Saying rely on the universe to help you. They'll also bring you what you need so that you can grow. And that everything else you're going through or went through or that's going on in the collective, it's only fertilizer moments. It's, it's to help you grow. Because you are that seed. So, of course, for a seed to grow, you got to go through shit first. Fertilizer. Fertilizer. Next card, we have the Ten of Swords. So, Ten of Swords is the... Uh, it's every kind of pain you can think about. You got backstab, forward stab. Uh, you got... Uh, did, did, lied to, cheated. Uh, there was deception. There was sneakiness. Uh bad mouthing them, uh, all kinds of things. And it's right through everywhere to stop you from moving forward in your development. Not even able to, uh, you know, not even able to see and everything. 
But the lighter aspect of it, the sun is shining behind them, still giving the love to be able to have that healing. And you have the star card. You can see from the depiction, it went through a lot of hardship. And it was very tough to transmute from the uh, denser energies, which was like the dirt and everything, and then become materialized. And then go going into the uh, more divine aspect of who you are and allowing that to shine through and come through you. So it's everything you went through and you emerged out of, because you're that seed, right? You're that seed and it's sitting in a pool of water and it's emerging. So the star went through a lot of challenges that were very, very demanding. That demanded a lot of effort. And then you see there's a rise standing up in your vulnerability that's why she's naked in this one so it's kind of like the rise of the divine feminine as well within each person and there's like the jewels and stuff so abundance is still being given to you on a physical aspect and helping you with your growth as well like it's it's like so you don't lose hope because we are living a 3d life and in her hair you can kind of see there's a a scroll there that's tucked into her hair and that's saying like it's it rely on that wisdom that's already in you then we have the card of knight of cups like you see here he also holds the scroll he's drinking of the water the fountain of youth and uh well, he's drinking the cup, so it's it's about loving on yourself. Because usually in the regular tarot, you see this um, knight that is bringing he's bringing a cup. He's gonna bring it to someone, offer his love. But in this case, he's giving it to himself first. Once he quenched his thirst and everything, then he can continue on and bring some water also for the next person. Share his cup with someone. So these are some of the things. It's not so dark. And then, of course, there is the uh, the Three of Swords, which is the, the, the broken heart, the wounded warrior still going forward. See, these two here are holding the sword of truth, the truth of why you had to go through this. And the light is shining in the background to kind of, like, open up your eyes that you had to go through these experiences you see the flower of life in the background here. It's the seed of life turns into the flower of life. So it's saying there is a period of transformation happening in the collective. It's not just transformation from one form to another. It's transmuting the energy from dense to lighter energy, from shadow to light, and, and bringing a balance because... He's more dark, but his his headdress, his hair, and uh, his thing in front here, he's, it's light, like he's dark and he's dressed in white. He's white and he's dressed in dark. So it's about the truth, about keeping the balance within yourself, the shadow aspect and the light aspect, so that you can see clearly why this was divinely guided, why you had to go through these this type of pain. It's kind of like um, you had to be broken, o broken open so that you can grow. Because you're that seed and a seed always has a shell. And as humans, we're tough cookies to crack as humans. Like we're, we're, we're pretty resilient, but we got to bypass certain mechanism that was already pre-programmed in the old energy. And now it's the time to uh, bypass that, change that, change the programming, rewrite the code. It's already been done. Now it's about bringing it into uh, 3D life, making that manifest. It's a slow process, but it gets done. Let's get a clarifier for these cards. Clarifier for the Three of Cups for the Collective. 
one here. Or the Knight of Wands. He's going forward. He's got a wand in his hand. He's twirling. He's keeping himself going. And it's the Knight of Wands. So he's got that wand. I catch trying to get it. So he's got his and he's traveling and there's this dragon over there. So as you continue your journey, the universe will continue to provide what you need when you need it. But you have to be willing to believe that for yourself, for you to be able to recognize when it is that the divine is helping you. Like he's going forward courageously. There's a dragon over there. That dragon could easily come and burn him, but he's getting his wand ready and everything because he's got everything he needs to be able to tame that dragon. And in another way, on the denser side, it's uh, like three of cups. It's usually people uh, all gathering together and everything, you know, celebration type or third party type things. Even though you know this is going on, you'll have everything you need to be able to transmute that energy. Let's get a clarifier for the Ten of Swords. And I'll get this one. I'll just get one for each. So Ace of Wands. Wands again. And you see in this depiction that uh, through this healing process doing what you need to do to do that healing, you'll be provided with an opportunity and everything you need to be able to do that healing. She's standing there. She did a sacred fire and through the fire, she received all this information like music, art, uh, growth, uh, knowledge or a map, uh, journaling, so these are like all ideas on how to transmute this old energy into something to participate into your healing. So connect with the plants, go and do some art, listen to, to music that you like, do some journaling. I always said like out of your head onto paper, it's out of you. So it's a way of healing to write things. And there's a map of a new destination or drawings so it's also tapping into your creative side. And that's what helps you in transmuting old pain energies. It's like they say you can transform your pain into gain. And that can be done. A lot of people have done this. And it has transmuted the energies of their pain. And they were able to teach the how they got over things. And that helped them in their own abundance. Also at the same time it helped them with their own healing. Get a clarifier for the star card. It's not as dark as I thought it would be. It's just like a question of like what's left in the collective to transmute so that we can fully enter the new human template. The new human template, there's uh, one channeler that spoke about it very well and in detail, and that would be a uh, cryon. If you want to look that up, that's up to you. So a clarifier for the star card in this reading for the collective. We have five of cups. So what you're growing out of is you're growing out of lack mentality. The five of cups is looking at everything you've lost. And this is what you're overcoming. And that's what you're growing out of. And uh, there's two cups here in the bath. Or there's two cups up here, sorry. There's two cups up here. There's lots of abundance behind you. There's even the celebration, but not able to enjoy it because you're too focused on what you lost and on what, being grateful for what you do have. Even forgetting about our own little kitty cat. <laughs> but, you know, like, so... This is the transformation that's taking place. So even though some people are still in grief or loss, a feeling of loss, and they keep looking to the past, is saying, stop looking at the past and emerge from that. Become 
who you are. And then uh, you'll see some nice growth and transformation from that. But at the same time, you're going to heal this state of mind as well. Let's get a clarifier for the Knight of Cups. What is the clarifier for the Knight of Cups for this reading? Feeling stuck and Queen of Cups. So, okay. He is giving to himself. And then we have the Queen of Cups here. He's the Knight of Cups and this is the Queen of Cups. But the one in between... It's feeling stuck. For some people, see, this is also the time uh, the Great Awakening was also the awakening to the Divine Feminine aspect of life. Because for the longest time, the Divine Masculine was operating on its own. Uh, and the Divine Feminine was going to come into play a little later. Because the Divine Masculine on its own... Uh, kind of got distorted. And this could be also seen as a selfish energy. And they didn't know any better. That's what it was, you know. But he holds this scroll of wisdom. He knows about self-love. But it, there's a fine line between selfishness and self-love. And that's where people get it confused. It's about reaching that balance within as well. If there's no balance, then it will be selfishness. If you're creating that balance, then it will be self-care. Okay. So uh, this uh, person here feels stuck because doesn't know how to get from, you know, the divine masculine to the divine feminine. And it's just that stuck energy in between. But realize that you are already complete. Okay, you already have this. This is more of a subtle energy. She's all about self-care and abundance and pregnant with new ideas or or pregnant for real, you know, so this is the energy of the card, and um, reverence for life, and, uh, you know, has, is, is plentiful, is, is give, it very nurturing, and uh, very respect, re like, she has a lot of respect for everything, every living being, creature, everything. So it's about getting out of that stuck feeling here. There's a little bird on one, and he's whispering to her, saying, look, you, you could just go a little bit for... It's like a little tiny guide that's coming in and saying, look, look, just get a little bit closer, more this way, and then you can cut these binds. You can take remove the blinders. You could get your... And see that you're not really stuck. So the little bird there is kind of like saying, you were here... Now you feel kind of stuck on the feminine aspect, but listen to your intuition and then you will see that you're not stuck and you'll be able to step into the divine feminine aspect and then you'll be able to integrate both of these together. And he will turn from a knight of cups to a king of cups. Okay, so that's what that explains right here. Yeah. It's about transmuting these things. Those are the things in the moment that are in the shadows in the collective, but are coming to light. What else is there? Is there a, yeah, okay, clarifier for the three of swords. We have the page of wands. Pages are usually messengers. And this is a passionate, wands is usually about passion. And also, up, it's like going into, he has to follow his instincts. And because there's like a crossroad here, he's got to follow his instincts, follow his intuition. His familiar is right there. So it's about, and he's choosing to see if he's going to listen to it or not. It's saying, do I listen to my heart that's broke? But there's a balance being done. And there's the sun shining as it's, this is the path to healing. This is, you know, so it's really listening to inside of you and not falling for the fear of things because maybe he doesn't want to go there because of that little lizard that's there. You know, he's like, uh, I'm not sure. It's like he's standing there trying to make a decision, twirling his wand, like, do I go that way or not? It's like indecision due to the past heartbreak. 
So it's saying don't be afraid to go on the path you need to go, even though you feel like you have a broken heart, because that's being healed in the back of the in in the background. It's being healed. There's divine assistance and balance being made. So it's saying trust yourself and don't fall for the past fears and keep going forward. Okay. So that's the message for uh, the darker aspects that's happening in the collective at the moment. I'm Tina from Cosmic Turtles, and we'll see you next time.